Hello learner, welcome to eRIM production and in this tutorial I will be showing you how to handle data using word processing. How to handle data using word processing. We are going to create a document in Microsoft Word and then after we create the document we are going to format it by performing some tasks that we are given below the document. So the document is the one you can see on the screen with the title children and technology so it has got four paragraphs we are going to type uh, this document and then after typing the document we are going to perform some tasks as shown below here we shall need to add space of 2.0 between the lines and a space after each paragraph we bold and underline the title we italicize the text some text like the, the last text here saying source musa we shall italicize it change font color of the second paragraph to be blue is the second paragraph and then we shall change the font i mean change the font type or to arial and size to 13 justify split text into two columns and then copy the first paragraph and paste it below the last paragraph all these tasks uh, i will show you step by step how to do them so the first thing is to create the document so we are going to create this document in microsoft word so in order to do this I will just open Microsoft Word, a blank uh, form or page. Then from here, we need to type the four paragraphs, starting with the title. So in order to start, I need the title to be in capital. So I'll press caps lock so that uh, I will be able to type uh, the title in capital. So it's called children and technology. So when caps lock is on, it, uh, all the letters are changed into caps into capital so once you finish that you press back uh, the caps lock to be off and then you press enter to start a new line then uh, after that you start typing as fast as you can uh, without removing the mistakes because there's another step after you finish typing where we review and remove the mistakes which are in the document so you just type the document as fast as you can So once you have finished typing, the next step is to remove mistakes which are in the document. If you check in the document, you'll be able to see some underlined words like this one and another one there. So just generate to remove the mistakes. You just go to the menu called review, this one. You just click on it. And then on the left side, you'll see ABC, spelling and grammar. Just click on that. And then it will bring suggestions to these mistakes, like this first mistake where you were, you were supposed to type these devices, these. Then you are given suggestions. You check the right suggestion, which is the first one. You click on it. Then again, these devices can be used to access information from any path. You wanted to say from any path. You check from the original document. Then you click on part. And then after it finishes checking all the mistakes, it will give you information that spelling and grammar check is complete. So now your uh, document has no mistakes. So that is the first way to format, that is to remove the mistakes. Remember I told you you type very fast without removing mistakes so that uh, you won't waste a lot of time. Then after that, now we are going to format this document according to some instructions. And the first instruction we are given is to add space of 2.0 between the lines and a space after each paragraph so we are supposed to select the entire document uh, from the first paragraph up to the end so that we add a space of 2.0 between the lines and a space after each paragraph so what you're going to do just bring the cursor of the mouse where the document begins and towards the margin until it, it shows this sign and then you drag it down up to the end there up where it is written source musa and then after that we are supposed now to go to paragraph when we are at home when you're at home you just click the menu home make sure you're at the menu home you go to paragraph and then the paragraph settings here this arrow here click on it and then you scroll you move down 
the way it's written line spacing at 1.08 so the spacing currently is at 1.08 so you move this arrow uh, showing up you click it once it moves the spacing to 1.5 click it again and it moves to spacing of 2 that's what you wanted then you click ok remember you have you must have selected the text which you wanted to to put a space of uh, 2.0 so after that you are told after each paragraph you add a space so what you do is you click on the paragraph the end of the paragraph the first paragraph you bring the cursor at the end of the first paragraph and then you click enter to create a space go to the second paragraph at the end of it make sure the cursor is at the end then you press enter go to the third paragraph make sure the cursor is at the end of the second parag third paragraph click enter and you can see now it has created space between paragraphs and we have also uh, made sure that uh, the lines are spaced at 2.0 then we are told to bold and underline the title so this is the title you bring the cursor just where we have the, the heading on this side where you can see my cursor is and then when it shows that sign and it's matching with the heading just click once so that it can select the heading and then just above here you can see letter b that b means bold when i click on it it will make the letter to be bold and then there is the third letter here called u that is underline I just click on underline so i made it bold and i've underlined then the next inst instruction is to italicize the text saying source musa so i scroll down to this uh, source musa and then i bring the cursor here matching with that line and then on the margin and then i click on it to select that text <coughs> remember before before you to format any text you must select it first then you click the letter i i means italics so when you click on it you see it goes in that direction meaning that it is in italics so after that we are told to change the font color of the second paragraph to blue so we move to the scroll down uh, up to the second paragraph this is the second paragraph so i bring the cursor here where the second paragraph starts i click and drag the mouse up to the end of the second paragraph then just above here you'll be able to see where it is written uh, font color here where there's letter a and then you click on the arrow and then it sh you look for color blue then you click on that blue you can see now the font color has changed to blue then after that you are told to justify sorry to change the font type to Arial and size to 13 so we need to change everything here to Arial and size 13 so we need to select every text here and to select all the text at once you can quickly press button called control ctrl and then another button l button a at the same time you press control plus a control and a at the same time this will help you to select all the text and after you have selected it we have been told to change the font type so up here you can see the font type we have used to type is calibri body when you click this small arrow here it will give you the other types of handwriting uh, font types so just scroll down and you can see they are arranged in alphabetical order so we have arial in that one and it has changed the, you can see the font type has changed then after that we are told to change the font size to 13 it's now 11 it's the font size is 11 the, uh, the size of the font is 11 and we want to change it to 13 you can check here whether you can see 13 there is no 13 there is 10 11 12 so what you do you just click on that 11 and when it selects 11 you just type 13 and then you press enter and it will increase the writing to size 13 after that you are told to 
Justify to distribute the text evenly. Justify to distribute the text evenly between the margins. So you come to when you're still at home menu. Above here you can see paragraph and then you can see here where the cursor of the mouse is. This is aligning to the left if you want the, the handwriting to move to the font to move to the left. The second one is to move to the center. The third one is to the right and then the fourth one is the one used to justify to distribute the text evenly between the margins. So I just click that. After I click that it justifies the text. Then after that instruction we are told to split the text in the document into two columns. So while you are still have selected this text make sure that it is fully selected all of it just that we have selected mine or highlighted now we want to split it into two columns so i'll move up here and look for a menu called layout so i click on layout then down below the layout i see columns i click on columns and then i click two you can see the text has been split into two columns as we wanted it then after that we are told to copy the first paragraph and paste it below the last paragraph so we remove the selection you just click somewhere on this white space then you come here just where the paragraph starts first paragraph you click and drag your mouse when you're at the margin until the end of the first paragraph then when you're at home you click at home here click the menu home you'll be able to see copy you are now after you select it you click copy to copy that text so you just click copy and then after you finish copying you have been told it to paste it in the last paragraph so you click on the last paragraph to bring the cursor at the last paragraph click the button enter where you are going to paste we are going to paste the last paragraph here so what you are going to do move back to home and choose paste you make sure that your cursor is below the last paragraph then you click paste and you can see it has pasted it at the right place so that is the, all the instructions we are given the last one is just to save the document and in order to save the document just come up here where it's written file then you click on save as click on save as below you'll be able to see save as you can choose between desktop and the documents so if you want to save in documents you just click on documents and then here you choose a name which you want to save your document under for example it's suggesting the file name should be children and technology if you don't want that topic if you don't want it to be children and technology you can change it to what you want it to be and then save as type just leave it the way it is it's supposed to be saved as word document then once you type the right file name you click save and once you click save it will be saved in the documents Thank you very much and in the next lesson I'll be able to show you more because there's a lot to learn. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and like.